our consciousness is just like an unending movie. It's an endless number of frames. And in fact, the number of frames, the number of movies that we could possibly experience, nobody has ever counted. You know, you can go on doing 50 movies, 100 movies, other people may do thousands of movies, all the movies ever made, all the movies that will ever be made. Every time you sit down in the theater and watch the movie, every new frame is going to produce a different conscious experience with you. And that's the simplest thing in the world. We all do that, okay? Now, the secret of consciousness, I believe, is precisely that you have this enormous variety of possible experiences available to you. It's a huge repertoire. Think of all possible movies, all possible experiences. Nobody has ever counted that. It must be in the trillions, okay? And it's up to everybody's ingenuity and the richness of the world, the little fraction that you actually experience before you die. But the repertoire is gigantic. So we are conscious when we have an immense repertoire of things, frames, think of frames of movies we could have experienced. But right now, you are experiencing a particular one. Mm -hmm. You are seeing me speaking, okay? That's a very special one. You never had that before. That's one <laughs> out of trillions. And that is the information aspect. Right. Because one out of trillions is an enormous amount of information. You say, this is this, and not those trillions of other frames that Charlie could have come up so with. So the moment of my being the moment I'm conscious of is that moment where all of these possibilities are integrated into one experience. They collapse down to one. You say it could yeah. have been trillions, but it is this one. Okay. So if you have a great richness of alternatives, which we humans do, right. probably more than anything else, that is the secret of consciousness. With one more ingredient, which is the integration part, mm -hmm. because any experience is unified. It's you having that experience. It's one, you cannot split it in two. For instance, right now, try to have the experience you're having of me, and then just see the left. See the left, see over here, see the left. My, this is my no, left. No, no, the left of me only. Oh, just see the left of you only? Yeah, the left of me oh, only. Oh, that's your right, okay, here's yeah. your left, okay. Yeah. And then the right. Yes. Okay, only. You can't, it doesn't even make sense, okay? You experience just what did. it is. <laughs> like this. Then you're a machine. No, oh, I'm just really, uh, I have acute concentration. <laughs> so now I try to do that okay. again, seriously. Fixate here I on the I mean, I'm dimly aware of the other side of you. Yeah. You're gonna, if you're watching one side, you're going to see that side. But I'm saying any experience, you cannot split yourself in two. Uh -huh. The only way to do that is, as is shown in that slide up there, okay? Yeah. If, you, if I split your brain in two, like this, yeah. Then there is going to be two consciousness. It's like you cut the corpus callosum that combines the two sides, is that what you mean? Exactly. If you do that, and it has been done in several experiments by Gazaniga and other yeah. people, you actually have two consciousness. So consciousness is always one. Whatever you're experiencing, it is one experience. You cannot see the color without the shape, okay? Can you see again me? Well, okay, now it seems to me, if I... If I <laughs> He has a problem. This he thing of splitting, he splitting yeah, it up, he it's a not just thing. your face, but let me take a re the idea of a red square. Yes. It seems to me, in fact, I was thinking about this today as I read one of your papers, and I was looking out the window, and I was looking down at a building, and it, the roof had, a, had a, a square shape. Yes. And I said, I can see that as a square, or I can see it as a building. Uh, uh, when, 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 you, when you make a drawing, you can see the negative space along with the, the positive space. So can't I take that out and experience it separately? Or, or is that another state of consciousness? It, exactly that. Okay. Every, every experience is what it is. You can yeah. have the experience of the square as a square, the square as a part of the roof, but every experience is what it is. And splitting into pieces is impossible. It's always one. The cortex is a bunch of specialists talking to each other. You have literally billions of specialized areas and neurons that do different things. One cares for color, one cares for shapes, one cares for faces, and so on and so forth. But they all talk to each other. They are connected in this extraordinary way. So they can't move along. It's like, you know, it's a, it's a um, board where everybody can talk to each other and they have to make decisions in a democratic manner, so to speak. You know, the cortex is very democratic, and they all talk to each other. That's what I would say. And that's what's special, and that's what allows it to be one entity with many states. Mm.